Not every wrestling idea lands. I mean, what was the point of that? Some ideas we wish never happened, and some moments in wrestling, for whatever reason, we feel like never happened. People, Dolph Ziggler is a two-time world heavyweight champion. You're lying, great one. You can't fool us with that one. Yeah, you all remember the cash-in, which was great, but he was a world heavyweight champion before that. He got handed the world heavyweight championship by Vicky Guerrero and lost it in the same night. Top-tier booking right here. Let me ask you, Maurice was a girlfriend slash manager too? Think about this long and hard. The Miz? Wrong, Ted DiBiase Jr. Probably the peak of his career. I asked y'all on X to give me some forgotten WWE moments. Make sure to follow me, by the way, because you might end up being in the next video. So let's check out how many of these we actually remember. Roman Reigns as Intercontinental and US Champion. Seeing him as mid-card champion is weird now. I think everybody does remember that. What's crazy about that is, if I'm correct, these championships were given to him as a punishment. All I remember about the IC Championship is the rivalry against The Miz. And US title reign is kinda underrated in my opinion. I mean, dude put on some bangers against Rusev. This is Randy Orton, by the way. Brother, I watched the entire pandemic era. I think he tried to poison the locker room or something. Again, people just Randy being Randy. Ah, come on. We all did that at least once. This The Undertaker vs. Rusev, greatest Royal Rumble. Fun fact, this was actually supposed to be The Undertaker vs. Chris Jericho, which is kind of a dream match at that point. And wasn't this a casket match? What a waste of Undertaker's last matches. Remember when WWE tried to make Mason Ryan the next Batista? I don't think that's the case, that was the problem. It's more like his mama made him into Batista. I don't think this match gets the credit it deserves. Brock Lesnar vs. The Big Show, come on now. This is like the most replay WWE clip of all time. I saw it- I saw it like a thousand of times already, come on. Wasn't that the first time the ring broke, by the way? Wow. I think so. Oh, good old Curtis Axel. Say whatever you want about Curtis Axel. Amazing theme song. And he has one of my favorite Intercontinental Championship title wins of all time. Y'all know his father is Mr. Perfect, one of the best Intercontinental Champions of all time. And Curtis Axel won that championship on Father's Day. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Shawn Michaels on 07 SmackDown. I did see that picture floating around, but I have no idea what the hell is happening right here. And it is weird, man. It's so weird. I don't think he was ever a part of SmackDown, right? Let's make Dare and young great again. I do remember this and I do remember thinking, when was he great exactly? Wasn't bad, but what? Completely forgot this happened. Honestly, don't remember the finish. Don't remember watching this. <laughs> but I do know one guy who probably misses Vince McMahon. God, I hate that I had to remember this match happened for this reply. Y'all shitting on Kane Velasquez versus Brock Lesnar? The greatest professional wrestling match of all time. I was so worried that this is how SmackDown is gonna be like. Omar starting as a giant ninja. And it never led to anything, really. Again, I watched the pandemic era, man. I suffer through it. For you. Shame is being a WWE champion in 2015 and this group. Oh, come on. You do remember that. The cash in? Come on. The problem with this faction was is that they were basically made to be fed to Roman Reigns. That was the whole purpose. Quite frankly, I liked every single talent involved. What's funny is that the highlight of this faction is them getting beaten by legends at WrestleMania. I would say Punk and Kofi as tag champions. You just unlocked a memory. I watched that in like 2008, I believe, on television. I do remember that. Oh my god, Santino Morella and Vladimir Kozlov as tag team champions. Ah, how they massacred my boy. Ya prinesti boy. Ya tvoya problema. I pimi op ni hoche. Oh, come on, y'all remember this one. I look at this picture and I just see SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Really? Ellen Knight as the million dollar champion. You know what's weird about that? I know it happened, I didn't watch NXT. That is- that is a decent idea. I wouldn't mind seeing the Million Dollar Championship back for like a gimmick. Why- why Baron Corbin never held that championship? This has been living rent-free in my head for years. Dude just posted a picture of Triple H making his entrance. Come on now, come on. John Cena and David Otunga as stack champions. I actually do remember that. This was like the peak of me and my friends watching WWE, right? We knew how to download stuff, get stuff, get stuff. We never- Everything was legal. Correct me if I'm wrong, he had to lose that championship the next night on Raw. Was it against Michael McGillicuddy or Heath Slater? But he lost that championship like the next day and I was like pissed. I was like, this is cool, this is universe mode, this is... SmackDown vs Raw Road to WrestleMania right here. Braun Strowman is the Intercontinental Champion, you know what? I feel like every Braun Strowman Championship title reign is really forgettable. I, I, I can't name you a single good one. And he held a championship with a child. Oh yeah, that happened. <laughs> What's so hilarious about this one is that he just looked at it and didn't even touch it. He was like, look at that piece of shit. Miss Man Kiss My Ass Club. I didn't remember that because 
Was I even born, right? I, I was born in 1999, but I do remember something to do with uh, DX and Shane McMahon. The Big Show, maybe? Braun Strowman and Seth Rollins as tag team champions. Oh my god. Just unlocked your memory again. And I was making reviews by that point, obviously. Almost every Seth Rollins tag team champion partner is so random. Emma, that's the tweet. Man, I thought she's gonna be like the next big thing in the WWE. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the peak of the PG era. Love it. No disqualification. Intercontinental Championship. The Undertaker versus Drew McIntyre. What's so weird about this one is that they actually put the Midcard Championship on a line with the Undertaker in the match. Like, that was unheard of back in the day. I can already tell you we got some shenanigans. Undertaker didn't win that championship. Was he ever the Intercon? I don't think he was. Yeah, of course. The Great Khali thinking he won the championship. <laughs> oh, it was a wild day, people. It was a wild day. To be honest, I wouldn't mind seeing a greatest women's Royal Rumble in the near future. Here's the thing, people. This is gonna be a very controversial take. Hear me out. Grace Royal Rumble sucked, obviously. Didn't mean shit. But hear me out, ladies and gentlemen. In 2011, we got a 40-man Royal Rumble. With the roster we have right now, don't hate me for this. Shouldn't we get one? I mean, the roster is so huge. I, I'm, I'm gonna leave right now. Okay, now. No idea when that happened. Oh my god, I remember the build. First ever SmackDown on Fox, right? Did we ever get this match? I don't think we did. Did we? No, we didn't get this match. Oh my god. I'm watching this right now and I still don't remember and I know I seen it. James Storm in NXT. That must have been for like a week or two. Now that is just some universe mode. Here's four. Oh my god, the evil Sin Cara versus the good Sin Cara. One of them botches a bit more than the other. Who's gonna win? The stupid lighting man. Come on. Hated that shit. Hated that shit. What's cool in WWE 12 though? Come on, man. Are we 12? <laughs> Are we 12? This happened. It it honestly felt like it happened so recently. I know it didn't, but come on. He cashed in the money in the bank briefcase. We became a world champion. Come on! The Miz and R-Truth getting arrested. Yeah, back then R-Truth wasn't stupid, man. He just took too many bumps. I remember this having to do something with John Cena. They were against the authority, but they were the bad guys. Air Boom. I actually like that tag team as a kid. I, I thought the theme song was kind of catchy. Okay, now. Lucha House Party vs. Lars Sullivan. No wonder these Saudi shows sucked back in the day, man. Come on. What's next? Raw tonight. The three presidential candidates will address the WWE audience. I'm sure it never happened and we got some stupid-ass Vince McMahon parody. Extreme Rules Country Whipping Match. Okay, hear me out now. Controversial take. Michael Cole is a heel. It's kind of entertaining. I know, I know. But watching it right now, it's just funny. It's just funny. I like heel Michael Cole. Especially like on NXT. Deontay made a great video on this. Okay, now when you post stuff like this, I almost feel like we're not even supposed to remember it. What is that? Who won? Let's try to remember these. New ECW champion Ezekiel Jackson. The last ECW champion of all time, by the way. Rest in peace, ECW. Oh my god, what have you done? Oh my god. Let me guess, he beat... Christian? Shelton Benjamin? Christ, Christ, I'm gonna go with Christian. The Big Show is the Intercontinental Champion. He beat Cody, by the way. It was a pretty decent match, I remember. I think so. Oh, who could forget about the most prestigious WWE Championship of all time? Longest reigning champion right here. Roman has nothing on Strowman. Nothing. NADA! Shinsuke is not his champion. Okay. No idea who he beat. No idea. I'm gonna say... Jinder Mahal? Possibly? Randy Orton is the United States Champion. Hashtag JD is a virgin. Are you? You can tell me. Doesn't matter. As a huge Randy Orton fan, I gotta apologize. I do remember him as the United States Champion. And the championship looks really good on him, by the way. I don't remember who he won the championship against. I don't remember a single match. Tonight, Hell in a Cell match. Xavier Rhodes versus Bobby Lashley. I remember that. This was actually pretty cool. Pandemic era, right? Man, I'm gonna end this video with this. Every time Xavier Woods is in a singles match, when he gets a some sort of a singles rivalry or whatever, he delivers. And he's doing it right now again. And he's about to turn heel. And I can't wait. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to follow me on X and you might end up being in the next video. I'm gonna make your dreams come true. This is the moment. Take the opportunity by its balls.